So I have a student who says he took an online NBME for step one. He scored low 250s. He says he plans to do online forms 25 through 30 first and then go on to do forms 20 through 24. And my response is that's a bad fucking idea, okay? What's, what's interesting is sometimes you'll get students who score pretty high even though they don't know how to prepare well. And it's made complicated by, e.g., people on Reddit. Occasionally, occasionally they'll get a student who scores super fucking high. OMG, 272. And they didn't actually prepare well, but they just happen to be a good test taker. I've used this analogy before. It's no different from, e.g., asking some incredibly jacked dude at the gym with massive calves which protein he takes, when in reality, his massive calves have nothing to do with this fucking protein, it's just genetics, okay? So you will get people who score high who actually have no idea what they're doing. They're just good test takers. You do not want to do the online forms prior to the offline ones, if at all possible, okay? You are not artificially inflating your score, your scores on 25 through 30, because you've done 20 through 24 first, and or my PDFs, which are derived from the NBME content. Nobody discusses UWorld as though going through that QBank is artificially inflating your scores. Where do you think UWorld derives their questions from? People will frequently discuss, oh, there was a similar question in UWorld on like, you know, this, this from this NBME exam. It's like, well, no shit. You know, it, the questions from QBank are derived from NBME. And people don't have qualms about going through QBank prior to the NBMEs. If you are studying the right way, your scores should go up on the NBMEs. You will get people who would literally prefer to score lower on the NBMEs by studying obscure resources and going through EG Kaplan QBank or AMBOSS, which are usually a waste of your fucking time. That's a separate discussion in of itself, as opposed to just finishing your world, memorizing the offline NBME content, and then going into the online forms scoring higher on the NB on the online NBME forms and then in turn that will translate over your, into your real deal and you've achieved a higher performance on the real USMLE okay so no do not do the the online forms prior to the offline ones i want you memorizing if you're studying for step 1 i want you memorizing forms 20 through 24 offline i want you screenshotting your incorrects from those forms into a word document saving as a pdf or powerpoint you're going to go through my free high yield PDFs that are on my website, then you're going to go into 25 through 30. And if you're studying for step two, you're going to do the clinical mastery series forms, as well as offline forms six through eight, and then you're going to go into nine through 11. Okay, there's a lot we can talk about. You know the deal, I'm going to continue producing more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.